and fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Impromptu speeches are extended versions of table topics. They're also known as a pocket speech. And all of us should have pocket speeches in our pockets, whether we have pockets, or in some cases not. Women's pants do not have pockets. I do not know why, but they should. Now, why have a pocket speech? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One, we could be working on our CC manual, and we haven't had a lot of time to prepare a speech, but we want to speak because we want to complete our CC manual. And the CC manual for our guests is the Competent Communicator Manual. It's a series of 10 speeches that were given in a book that gives some guidelines. It doesn't give us topics, but it gives us ideas. One of them is body language, for example, or vocal variety, or get to the point. So it just gives you some guidance, and when we get evaluated on those, it gives our evaluator some feedback on to what kind of feedback we should, they should be giving us. Now, why have a pocket speech? Because sometimes we have a full slot of speakers, four or five, and people can't make it. People come, they have not prepared their speeches. Even though they said two months ago, we're gonna give our speech. But they come and they say, no, I'm not ready, I haven't had time. My husband had a baby. <laughs> Our dog had a kitten. You come up with some really interesting excuses. But mostly they just don't have time and they haven't had the time to prepare, or the enthusiasm in some cases. How easy is it to create a pocket speech? Very, very easy. And I think that's why people don't prepare them. Because they don't think, I can come up with a speech off the cuff. But a real pocket speech is something that isn't come up with off the cuff. It's something that you've prepared for a little bit. It's kind of like studying for that science test where you know the basis of it and you can slide through pretty well because you've been paying attention in class, you've been doing your homework. You don't necessarily go into it with a fully fledged speech in mind. That list that I handed out to you is a list of common topics. So the first thing in coming up with a, with a topic for a pocket speech is just close your eyes and point and go, I'm gonna do a speech on the country or car theft. My car got broken into in Springfield twice. That's a great topic for a speech, for example. These are just common ideas. But everyone has family, everyone has a job, or is looking for a job. Everyone has history. We all have lots of things in common, vacations. And everyone has great knowledge, no matter who they are and what they do. If you ask someone who's a librarian, there's, they're going to say, I'm just a librarian. But when you start to plumb their depths of the knowledge that they have, there's a lot they know about. They might know a humongous amount about ancient Egyptian mythology. But you wouldn't know that until you ask, and you wouldn't know that yourself until you start thinking about the things that you like. What interests you? I love science fiction. I could talk for hundreds of thousands of hours about science fiction. Science fiction books, science fiction movies. I'm a huge Sherlock Holmes fan. I could bore you to death with every single story Arthur Conan Doyle wrote. I've seen all the movies and all the TV shows. I could bore you to death on all of those as well, but I can talk about them because I know them and because they are subjects that I'm interested in. I could tell you dates of when Cisco, who you should go to visit a plant if you think right. it's all motorized, when Cisco was founded, or that McDonald's, for example, that they're now making a movie about, we studied McDonald's at the Culinary Institute of America. And the founder of him, of McDonald's, was actually a big name and was actually venerated by my school as an entrepreneur. And this movie that is coming out is apparently going to grind him into the dust because he was a mean and evil man. That's going to be a speech someday. Now, how do you create a speech? First is an idea. How do you come up with ideas? You don't just think of them off the cuff. You could go to this list and circle and point. 
or you can create little pocket notes or pocket cliff notes all over. I have post-its all over my office, and I have them by my bed and in my car and on my phone. Anytime I think of a speech that's interesting to me, I write it down. Last night, for example, at my other Toastmasters meeting, where the word of the day was also, oddly enough, a plum, or a plum, however you would pronounce it, Mr. Grammarian. A plum. A plum. <laughs> the opposite of a prune. <laughs> I was talking to the lady next to me, who was another Heather, and we were joking about the fact that we have to have another Heather in our end dope club, and then we can be the evil Heathers, which is also a topic for the speech. But I was telling her about the fact that she spoke and I spoke, and we were discussing the little notes that everybody gives us. And I said to her, you know, one of these days I'm going to do a speech about the fact that I have a box at home, that I have been collecting those notes for six years. And when I'm in a really, really awful mood, I dive into that box and I pull them out and kind of read them because so many of them are helpful and enthusiastic. And then there's some critical ones that I remember which ones those are. But those are all great topics for speeches. So when you have your ideas, build that list of ideas. I have a list over 3,000 things long to do for speeches. I'm never going to run out of speech ideas. Once you have that speech idea or those speech ideas, come up with three points. You don't want to write your speech. You want to come up with three main points about this. Sherlock Holmes, he had a sidekick. In some movies, he's bright. In some movies, he's not. In some books, he is a warm, fabulous, understanding doctor. In other books, he's a humorous, kind of snowball brain guy. What is another point about Sherlock Holmes? Sherlock Holmes jokes. I have hundreds of them. So three things you want to talk about about your subject, and then take five minutes and write a mini synopsis. That's all you need to do to write a pocket speech. Because once you've developed that, you can get up here, and it's basically an extended version of table topics. Because you're talking about something you know, and you talk about something you're passionate about. So I would challenge all of you in the new year, come up with a couple of pocket speeches so that when we have holes in our agenda, which thankfully don't happen often, but they do occasionally, you can reach up into your back pocket or your non-existent back pocket if you're a fellow female like myself and whip out a pocket speech because those are helping us develop us as good speakers and realistically as good leaders because we can teach other people that we can get up here and talk.